pour son âge. Pour ma part, en tant que... Thank you. As a black woman living here in Europe, I've not only become aware of the racism awareness here, but I've experienced uh, this for myself over the past 40 years. If you take a look at what's going on around the world, this is the result of colonial structures and pressure which have been, and oppression which have been there for the, uh, centuries. This is systemic uh, racism and discrimination, uh, which focuses on the blacks and ethnic minorities. I'm not, I don't want to talk uh, to hear only about uh, changing police training. There have to be more hard and fast consequences. There has to be justice for those who've lost their lives, those who've lost uh, close and loved ones, been victims of uh, police. It's not only European uh, blacks, but where whatever their descendancy, the people of colour, including those who are still drowning in the Mediterranean as a result of a racist immigration policy. I want to be clear, all black lives matter, whether they're European citizens or not. Black trans lives uh, matter. Black women's lives matter. Our lives matter. As a teacher, I have seen the tears of children w have been triggered by latent or blatant racism and the hate that then instills itself in the uh, soul of a child yeah. and that child is then doomed to failure. We need to get back to dialogue. I want to share with you an essay I wrote when I was eight years old. I am Monica Semedo. I have beautiful black skin. My family came from Cape Verde to Luxembourg. We almost had to go back to our island because we should be expelled from the country. In the beginning, I was at the Saint-Francois Institute. Now, our mother has found a beautiful large apartment. I am happy with everyone. My teacher laughed when I said, we are all just Luxembourgers. And she added, we are all just human beings. However, color, color is not invisible. I have experienced racism. I've been surrounded by 40 neo-Nazis shouting at me. I frequently get stopped at airports. Once I was even separated from my friends for hours. I hear prejudiced remarks about black people, but then You're, you are an, an, an exception. And I say, no, I am not. This is why we must support this resolution and call on the council to unblock the anti-discrimination directive. The time for silence is over. Thank you. George Floyd, Brianna Taylor, Richard Brooks, Mitch Henriquez, Adama Traora. Many have fallen victim and many will follow if we do not act. I stand with everyone who is protesting against police violence, systematic injustices, discrimination and institutional racism. People demand action from our own institutions and our own member states. Haven't we learned from history? We hear that we need to embrace the progress, but if my ancestors would see society now, would they see real equality and true respect for human dignity? United in diversity is what we say in the EU, so let's walk the talk. We need a fundamental change in our institutions so that they represent all of Europe's citizens. A new generation of Europeans wants a seat at the table. They will show up, they will be loud, and they will break through. Black lives matter.